company is getting ready to transport sugar to the market. It will cost the company $4,500 to rent the trucks and will cost an additional $175 per ton of sugar. We want to find an equation for the total cost in dollars where X is the amount of sugar in tons we then want to use this cost function to find the total cost of transporting 10 tons of sugar. And last but not least, we want to sketch this cost function. So for part A, let's recall that the total cost can be broken down as follows. Total cost is going to be equal to a fixed cost, the cost that occurs regardless of how many units are being sold, plus your variable cost, the cost per unit of whatever you're selling. And this variable cost is going to be multiplied by the quantity of what you're selling. So looking up at this question, we can see that it's going to cost $4,500 to rent the trucks. So this is a cost that's occurring regardless of how much sugar we're transporting. So we can say that our fixed cost is the cost of renting the trucks. So that's $4,500. Now again, looking back up at this question, we see that it will cost an additional $175 per ton of sugar. So that's an awesome indicator of the variable cost per unit. So our variable cost here is $175 per ton of sugar. Now, in part A, we can see that we're going to let our variable, the quantity, be x. So we have everything that we need. Woohoo! We can say that, therefore, our total cost, our cost function, c of x, is going to be equal to the fixed cost of 4,500 plus the variable cost of 175 multiplied by the amount of sugar we're transporting. So this is our solution for part A, which we're now going to go ahead and use for part B. So for part B, we want to know how much is it going to cost us to transport 10 tons of sugar. So here, we're going to let our quantity, our unknown quantity, x be 10. And this is 10 tons of sugar. So evaluating this cost function at 10, we have c of 10 is equal to 4,500 plus 175 multiplied by 10, so we have 4,500 plus 1,750. So adding those two up, this leaves us with a beautiful final answer of 6,250. And remember, this is for the cost, so this is in dollars. Or in other words, it's going to cost $6,250 to transport 10 tons of sugar. So now that we have our cost function, as well as one point on this cost function, let's go ahead and sketch a graph of this. All right, so we're ready to now sketch a graph of this cost function. And to help us in sketching this graph, let's think about what we know from part A and part B. So in part A, we found the general cost function. Now, I want you to keep in mind the fixed cost. Remember that this is the cost regardless of how many units are being sold, or in this case, transported. So another way to think about your fixed cost is this is the cost when zero units are being sold. So this is 4,500 plus 175 times zero, which we of course know goes to zero. So this is leaving us with just 4,500. 
So we can also think about this as an ordered pair. We have the ordered pair x, y. When x is 0, y is going to be 4,500. So here is a point on our graph. And we have the same thing in part B. We have when x is 10 units, the total cost is 6,250. So we have another ordered pair on this graph. When x is 10, y is 6,250. So we now have two ordered pairs on our line for the cost function. So we'll use these points to help us establish scales for x and y. So looking at x, the smallest we have is 0, the largest we have is 10. So let's do a 2 by 2 scale. We can say that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Now, we've got some large y values here. We have 4,500 and then 6,250. So we'll do it by thousands. So there's 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000. So we'll keep in mind that x is representing sugar in tons. And the y-axis is representing the cost in dollars. So let's go ahead and plot these two points. So when x is 0, y is 4,500, right about there. When x is 10, y is 6,250, so just a little bit above 6,000. So here are two points on this line, and to see the graph, we simply connect those two ordered pairs with a straight line. So this is a graph of our cost function, c of x, 175x plus 4,500, making this our beautiful final answer.